Hey guys, welcome back to Simple Man's Barbecue. I'm Julie, and today we're making Hunter's Stew with a side of cornbread. A Simple Man's Barbecue. So this is an easy recipe, uh, one pot recipe to make either for your hunter or a fishing trip, or um, can be made easily with ingredients that are leftover meat, canned goods, um, and a couple fresh ingredients. So um, it's pretty simple. What you'll need is uh, one pound of cubed meat. Typically in this recipe we use ham, but today we're using pork shoulder that John made with his last video. Um, you can check that out. And uh, we're actually doubling the recipe, so we're doing two pounds of pork shoulder, um, two diced onions, two cups of celery. We're using a can of stewed or crushed tomatoes, two cans of kidney beans, two cans of corn, two cans of tomato soup, and two cans of mushrooms for the stew. Now, uh, the trick about this stew that makes it simple and easy is that um, it's literally just opening the cans and dumping everything. You're not draining anything, you're not adding any water to the condensed soup. It's all just gonna go in there. So first, you're gonna start off um, with three slices of bacon, but like I said, we, um, we doubled this recipe, so I did six slices of bacon in the pan. I just fried it up um, in bite-sized pieces and drain the fat. So this recipe is super versatile. You can either make it on the stove or you could make it on a grill. Today we are making it on the offset smoker. Um, so we'll just add in our ingredients. We'll add the onion, celery, pork, and then each of the canned ingredients. Remember you don't drain any of these. And if you want to change it up and personalize it to how you would like, um, you can switch, you know, add some different vegetables or a different type of bean if you'd like. It's a very forgiving recipe. The reason you don't drain any of these vegetables or beans or anything is because that's all becoming um, part of the liquid of the stew. And this is a nice stick to your ribs filling meal. You don't need to do any side dishes, but today we're doing some cornbread to have along with it. That goes well. We got everything in here, your beans, your vegetables, your meat, and the onion and celery will give it a nice seasoned flavor. You don't need to add any salt because your bacon and your meat already is salted and so are your beans. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this all up. So basically what you're gonna do is put this either on the stove or on your grill or like we're doing today is on our offset smoker. You're gonna let it simmer for about a half hour just to heat it through. Keep in mind that all the ingredients except the celery and the onion are cooked in this, so you're essentially just warming it through um, so you can serve it. So it's super simple, um, you know, not, not very difficult to put together at all, which is kind of the beauty of it. So we're gonna go ahead and get this on the grill. All right, so I'm gonna just whip up some cornbread real quick to go on the side. Now if you follow the instructions on the package, it says to cook at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, on the grill, we probably won't be cooking at that heat, so we'll just cook it until... <laughs> just wait till she's done. We'll just cook it until it's golden brown. Add one egg and a third cup of milk. All right, and just put this into a well seasoned pan. So we're just going to cover the cornbread and put it on the grill along with the hunter stew. You're just going to want to make sure that your 
cooking it until it is golden brown since it is gonna be just cooking at whatever temperature the hunter stew is. Um, for the hunter stew, you just wanna make sure that um, you bring it to a simmer for about 30 minutes and make sure that the onions and celery are cooked through. That's gonna tell you that, um, that it is ready to eat. All right, so we're cooking on the offset smoker today, um, about 300 degrees, so we're gonna go ahead and get this on. So we're gonna check on this in about 30 minutes. All right guys, so it's been about an hour and a half. I've been out here stirring um, the hunter stew every 15 minutes. So let's take a look how things are. Perfect. All right guys, so here's the finished product. Um, if you wanna speed up this process a little bit, you can saute your onions. Um, right after uh, sauteing your bacon and it'll only take about 30 minutes for everything to come to a simmer and cook through. But it turns out great. It's a nice hearty meal um, that'll really stick to your ribs. So enjoy!